Hi folks, I'm Two Wheel Solo, and today I'm here to tell you about a new project I'm going to be starting, Casual Adventures. My first interest in motorcycles came from watching Charlie and Ewan in Long Way Round. And for the first time I realised that motorcycles could be more than just going fast and wearing tight leathers. I realised it was something on which I could have an adventure. And so, at the age of 36, having never ridden a motorcycle in my life, I went out and I passed my test. My first bike was a Kawasaki ER5. It was a good bike for learning all those things that they don't teach you on the driving test. But eventually, I managed to buy myself a BMW. Just what I'd always wanted, just like Charlie and Ewan. It was an F800 ST, and it was a good bike, but after a couple of years, I upgraded, and I finally had my dream, an R1200 GS. A bike that was so big, I never dared to take it off-road. Over the years, I've tried out different bikes, but I always seem to end up back with BMW, and these days, I ride my trusty RT. It's a very sensible bike. It's a very practical bike. It does what I need it to do. It gets me to and from work. But it's not exactly the adventure I envisioned when I was watching Charlie and Ewan all those years ago. So I found myself wondering, how many of us started off with that expectation of adventure and ended up settling for a little bit of compromise? How many of us watched YouTube videos of exciting adventures to interesting places with the knowledge that, really, we're never going to get there. So I've decided for my new project to rediscover adventure. And I don't mean the big trip for two weeks once a year. I mean little adventures, things that are achievable for somebody with a job and a family and other commitments. Someone who only has a couple of hours or a day or maybe at most a weekend. Adventures that are achievable, realistic, manageable. I'll be getting myself a second bike, something a lot simpler than the RT, maybe even a little bit more fun. Doesn't mean I'll be abandoning the RT, I'll still be doing some of my adventures on her. Might even do a couple of them on my son's 125. Because adventure isn't about the bike we ride, it's a state of mind, it's about the journey, not the destination. So I hope you'll join me on my journey, my search for adventure. In my next video, I hope to be able to show you my new bike. But until then, this has been Two Wheel Solo. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.